Look at this. But it shouldn't be doing that. See at the top there where it's come off the weld. Let's remove that. Return release clutch pedal spring. Because these things have been engineered and they will break under a certain stress. So I just made it into a bit of a C and then the idea is that I'm going to try and squeeze it over it. How about using these Jubilee clips? Hey, look at that. So the clutch pedal now, she is solid. Look at this. I have a wobbly clutch. It works, but it shouldn't be doing that. So it's the first little project on my little Fiat 500. I didn't know the clutch was actually uh, wobbly when I drove it. And it hasn't been picked up on something called the MOT, which is a sort of a yearly test we have in the UK. And it still functions. I can still put it in, I can still drive it all good. But there's a design fault that I've seen on these little clutch pedals and there's a weld at the top and it just, I can have a look underneath, it's broken. So today's job is somehow, I'm gonna try and take the clutch pedal off. I found some information online I've seen people take the whole of the steering wheel and the whole console out. I'm hopefully, I don't have to do that. Surely not. Um, so let's get this uh, clutch off. You can see at the top there where it's come off the weld. What I've found is, it talks about uh, removing the clutch pedal by itself. We've got to take off this one A little spring clip, one B, which is the spring, just remove that, return release clutch pedal spring. Disconnect the master cylinder push rod, unscrew three A, which is the nut for three B, slide that out and I'm hoping fingers crossed, I can then just remove the clutch pedal. So let's give that a go. Not done it before, but like most things, I never have either. So let's see how difficult it is to do. So I've just discovered that that drawing that I had is actually for a Fiat Panda, not a Fiat 500. So I'm not gonna be able to remove that bolt and get the clutch pedal off as I thought. I've now got to work out a way of doing something in situ. Alrighty. So I've just popped off the little uh, ball joint here that pushes the rod for the clutch it just gives me a bit more maneuverability so that just pops off with the screwdriver right now if you have a look up here you can see where the bottom and the top part that's sheared there and the weld there only comes to this part now you could sort of weld that up if you could take it all off you've got to be a bit careful because these things have been engineered and designed to have a fatigue point and they will break under a certain stress so you don't want to have it too rigid because you end up breaking your feet if you're in an accident. But look, if I move my little screwdriver, and what I'm doing is, if I move this and manipulate it, now, if I keep this screwdriver just between this, you can see, look, keeping this pedal from slipping towards the brake pedal, you can see that the join now is together. So my idea is, very simply, if I can get a little spacer in here, so that it stops it from slipping off the location where it should be, i.e. like my screwdriver. Now look, the clutch pedal is behaving itself. I may even use something called Metal Set, which is a metal um, adhesive really, and it will set pretty hard. I'm tempted to do that because at least it will still break under the application of having an impact. So as I keep my screwdriver in here, it's doing what it should do. So that's my plan. I'm gonna try and get something in there, a little spacer of some sort. The other thing I thought about using is, uh, is an olive, like I got here. I could actually try that and see, because that's quite soft. Let's get an olive for plumbing. So there's a little olive, let's 
squeeze that up a little bit, cut it, and I can maybe slide that on. That might be the easiest solution. Okay. into a bit of a C and then the idea is that I'm going to try and squeeze it over it and then think of a way to hold that in place. I've got this stuff called Metal Set. It's a two-part epoxy and you mix the two together it sets like metal. So I've pushed that in place there. There's my little copper spacer and now I need to maneuver the pedal so that it sits as it should do. Hey, look at that. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad at all. Quite happy with that. So that's my little spacer in there. That's stopping it from sliding that direction and coming off its mount. Now what I need to do is somehow just there, see if I can do something on the other side and wedge it in that position. I could just put a Jubilee clip around there, couldn't I? Maybe. Okay, let's keep going. How about using these Jubilee clips? That might work. Right, let's just make sure that that doesn't interfere with anything. That looks quite good. Actually. Let's give it a good tighten. Okay, so now, Jubilee clip in there. I've got my little metal spacer in here. The pedal can't go left and right, and it's holding in position just where that brake was there. And what this has actually done is, it's avoided me having to weld it. So I'm just gonna pop the uh, rod back on again like that and now we have a clutch that's in place right what I'm hoping to do now I want to get some sealant in the metal set in here and on there just to keep it from uh, any further movement but that's pretty good apologies it's so dark I've just mixed up this is called metal set and it sets like metal. You can actually tap into it with a screw once it sets. So that's all nicely mixed. And I'm gonna try and pop some now between those two left and right of the clutch so that it will hold in place. So here's my little finished result. I have some metal putty in there. And what that's doing is, it's just holding the pedal against the correct position that it should be in. But the idea is that it will stop the left and right movement. I got the metal Jubilee clip in place and I got the bush which I made on the right hand side. So let's see how that goes. 
So the clutch pedal now, left to right, there's no movement. She is solid. Everything's working as it should. And I managed to do that without having to remove the whole of that mechanism. Also, where the plunger is, I've added another piece of metal. The tie wrap is just there to hold it in place because that uh, yellow stuff you can see is Arabite epoxy. And it's holding in the plate. It basically just extended it slightly because I found that it was just touching the plunger no more. Um, and sometimes it might slip off and that was giving me a fault on the dash. So there's my little fix for it there. And have a little look at possibly subscribing because if this doesn't fix your problem, there's a few other things I'm gonna cover in some up and coming videos. Thanks for watching.